Chapter 11, Lux. Man, that was a steep climb. I'm actually surprised you made it this far. To be honest, I was expecting you to lose foothold and tumble to your death, or for a rock slide, or for one of those ghastly flying things to attack us. I'm really glad I have wings. It's a long way down if you slip and fall. Thanks, Crow. That's more than enough. Happy to help. That's what I'm here for. This is comfortable. This is nice. Great views from up here. Actually, do you think you'll be able to get off my head soon? I'm getting itchy. You want me off your head? Ah, I thought you specifically wanted me to stay put after that whole incident with the stone cat. Nope. Okay, then. <laughs> Alright, well... Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set to Dreamfall Chapters Book 4. Uh, hold on a sec, just wait. Okay, back now. Uh, crows. <laughs> Sitting on my head. I m imagine we made it to the village. Can't remember their names though. up in the clouds wasn't that what you were looking for i know but still seeing it with my own eyes you humans are weird locate abnaxis yeah so in the meantime in terms of what happened last set would definitely not have made it this so without me. obviously the resistance I wouldn't say they have fallen but then they've severely diminished we made it this is it the purple mountains the Ula so yeah what now I don't actually know we explore try to find Abnaxus and looks Ooh, sounds like a well thought out plan shut up Okay. So, I'm curious of what would happen if we didn't bring Liko with us because him interrupting I don't know why I can't say whether we saved our lives or if we would have made it at all. If General Hammy was there and all that jazz. Is that the Okay. For some reason, from far away it looked like a chicken. <laughs> like the tip of the wing. On the far left was like its beak, <laughs> and then its two little feet. Or maybe that would be its beak, I don't know, but I thought it was a chicken. <laughs> a very glowing, pretty chicken. Sorry, I am going the opposite way just to see. Ooh. What? Oh, you were the... Okay. Um, but what was that? Oh. Oh wait. So this is where the Ula live. Oh, it's impressive. So the door is closed, and I was walking past. One of the Ula. I recognize them from my visions. Okay, so there is someone there. Hmm? Anyone in there? No answer. Closed already. I want to see it close. Okay, well... Oh. Hey, one of them's outside. Maybe I can get some help finding Abnaxus.
Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I'm Zoe. I'm a friend. Chances are it will respond to its own name, or, you know, the name of its species. Like, say, if someone calls me human. Chances are it... You're Ula. <laughs> Ula. Ula? Am I saying this correctly? <laughs> this is like that time I went to Paris. Compliment you have a lovely village. It's impressive. Nice work. <laughs> That's all. It's lovely. Thank you. Abnaxus? I'm looking for Abnaxus. Do you know Abnaxus? <laughs> okay. He might not understand a word I'm saying, but if Abnaxus speaks to them the way he speaks to me, then maybe... The fingers were distinctive. Perhaps he'll recognize the fingers. It might help to describe how Abnaxus looks. I don't expect the Ular to know anything about monocles, but they must have noticed it. How about his cane? The cane transcends language. They, the fingers were distinctive. He's also got weirdly long fingers. He'd probably make a great pianist. I don't expect uh. the Ular to know. He wears a round piece of glass in one eye. Like this, a ring in front of his eye, like an old-timey millionaire. <laughs> How about Did that work? Abnaxus walks around with a stick that he leans on, like this, like. <laughs> you know him. Where's Abnaxus? <laughs> Up there. That's high. I don't know if I can get all the way. Hey, where are you going? Come back! Shit! Well, we now have a general direction. Hmm. Locate Epnaxis. Basically, it's the same. What is this point? Well, there's a house there, so. Is that gonna close if I get near? <laughs> but no need to. It's like, eh, she can't get in. She's human. Okay, well, either way, we head this way. Any more things to say, Crow? So, are you happy you abandoned your, uh... What is it you do again? Neural programming for artificial intelligence computers. That thing. Are you happy you abandoned that thing for this thing? Trying to save reality from collapsing? Yeah, I think I made the right choice. When this is all over, you should probably get a normal job. That thing you said that I didn't understand doesn't sound like the thing you should be doing. <laughs> You're probably right, Crow. I'm, I wasn't expecting uh, talking to Crow to... How come it took you so long to get started on this whole quest to save the world? I mean, talk about leaving it to the last minute. I know, but... I didn't want to remember what happened to me the last time I was here. I fought long and hard to forget everything. Oh, I know that feeling. I was also trying to forget. The last few years were rough. Sorry to hear that, Crow. I miss her. A lot. I know you do. You're not the only one. People loved her. I know I'm not a great replacement. You're not bad. I like you. You're a decent number, too. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> so I'm going to seem that every time this conversation is brought up with the fact of the choices we made. Enough chit chat, partner. There are soul stones to return, dreamers to awaken. Odd, ugly-looking men to locate. <laughs> if I get near, is that door gonna close? I just really want to see one thing close. Hey. 
At this point in the adventure, I was typically the one who bothered April with conversational inanities, not the other way around. You need to get your sidekick etiquette together, Zoe. They appear to be Ular nests, built on top of the old city ruins. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait. If he's up there. Okay, well, I got my wish. One of them closed. <laughs> Hello? I'm a friend. I just want to talk. Hmm. Well, do we have any items on us? Oh, we have the soul stone. And we have this thingamajig. Now, the question is... How? That's how. Oh, there you are. How do I... Hey! Let me go! Oh god! Dreamer, <coughs> you did come. You didn't exactly make it easy. Why not, I don't know, just tell me where to go and what to do. Touching you through dreams will be like a blind man searching for a red pebble in a wild river. And if finding you is difficult, to talk even more so. Only fragments of words will survive the journey across. Some things will also not be known to me, and could not be spoken. We do not know where Lux's heart was. You will need to find it on your own. Only a dreamer could take this and bring... <coughs> How much time do you have left? He does not sell. Are you sick? I was fading. I will have stayed behind too long. After my people leave one realm for another, this time is poison. It diminishes me. My loop ends soon. Too late for Abnaxus to journey onwards. But not too late for looks. Not too late for the dream. I will have stayed behind for looks, for you to have found your way to looks. Compared with this momentous thing, my life was of little significance. It'd be nice to learn more about the Ular. The Ular hide from me. They trusted no thing. Humans in particular, they will fear. The Ular lived here for many, many lifetimes. Ages ago, they would have a great city. But the Ular and Yeti are splitting, and their cities will crumble. Now they are both to be protectors of dreams in different ways. The Yeti were the grubbers beneath. The Ular lived above the clouds and gave shelter to looks. One serves the dream, the other will serve the undream, but unwittingly. Slaves to a black fire. Grubbers. That sounds familiar. Why would these Yete serve something that wants to unmake the world? This was beyond my understanding. We will have tried to explain more, dreamer, but looks awaits. The sand ran swiftly through the hourglass. Sending me cryptic dreams seems like a very inefficient way of doing it. Couldn't you reach someone else and have them return the soul stone? Only a dreamer can face the sisters. Only a dreamer will make them listen. Only a dreamer was able to retrieve Lux's heart. The soul stone. Only two could touch it. There is no other dreamer now. Only Zoe. Only looks. Why not send an actual message instead of vague visions? You were worlds away. Any message would be broken. Unreliable. The Ular will help me dream. 
The bird was needed to have found you in those dreams. I'm, I'm one thing I'm curious because what about I can't remember for her for the life of me her name is completely left my mind but the the pink haired girl the punk girl and Stark like wasn't she a dreamer too unless she's really like part of Lux or something like that either way it was needed what does that mean I mean how was crow able to find me the bird bridges worlds and souls the bird has a bond with the Dragon of Spring. The bird was connected to the Dreamer and to the Bloodless King. At the end of its life, the bird will be bonded to the girl who walked across worlds. That's really not an answer. That's an anti-answer. That's worse than nothing. I mean... The bird is magic. Which bird? I wasn't listening. There's a magic bird? Where? You were a curious thing, Feathered One. So little, and yet so great. So full of magic. <laughs> right, sure, I mean, really? Magic? Oh yes, you would see this. He said, the Dragon of Spring. What's the Dragon of Spring? The new thing that comes to pass when the old things die. The soul of she who saved the balance, reborn. She who saved... April? Are you talking about April Ryan? What do you mean by reborn? April isn't dead? She will be dead. She was reborn. There are two now, entwined but apart. The Dragon of Spring. The girl who walked between worlds. Mortal and immortal. Human and kin. They are legend. So, they're one but two. There are two Aprils now, but she's also dead. I still don't get it. Neither would I. I will only know the words, not their meaning. This is the way of sight. I will see, but never all of it. Scattered words from a book with many, many pages. That's helpful. <laughs> At least someone <laughs> said. I'm not here to chat with Abnaxus. Where is Lux? Follow me, dreamer. The Ular would always be protectors of the dream. They are children of the first dream, long before these worlds, long before human and Venar. They will keep the first dreamer safe when Lux's heart was stolen, the soul stone. They are protecting Lux from the undream, protected everything from the undream. How did Lux lose her... his... her heart? The wizard will take the soul stone. He lets the black fire inside him. He wanted to own dreams. He will have desired to reshape everything. He was and will be dangerous. In all presence, past and future. And the undreaming? The wizard will make a bargain and the black fire enters him and eats him. The wizard is the undreaming. Hey, I remember you from my vision. Hello. I guess he doesn't understand me. The Ular understood enough. Here, Lux slept a dreamless sleep. What do I do now? You will know. I guess I just shoved the soul stone inside her. <laughs> uh... Come on.
You're awake. You're inside my head. I can... <laughs> hear you. I can hear you inside. You're burning with a white fire. I can't... I can't stand it. It's so painful. <sighs> Thank you. You're the first. You were there at the beginning of everything. Mm. Me? No, I... How was that even... How is that possible? <laughs> yes. I brought your... Your heart. The soul stone. Hmm. What do you mean? That's not what... Nox. You mean the Yaga? I didn't bring the sisters. I didn't know. They were inside the soul stone. And now they're here. With us. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Light, dark. Dream, nightmare. Together. That's why I needed to go there, to face them. To bring them with me. So, what now? How do we save the dream? How do we save reality? I can't be the one to do that. I'm just... a person. Just a person, and you're a god. Or as close as anything can be to god, I guess. I'm not ready for that. You can't put this on me. I didn't want this. I wanted to be... to be normal. I wasn't asking for a divine purpose. I just didn't know what to do with my life. <sighs> what happens if I say yes? Who do I become? And what about... What about me? What becomes of me? Hmm. I understand. Mm. Of course, I trust you. How can I not? You made all of this. Without the dream, there's nothing. And there never was. If the dreamer stops dreaming, there's nothing. Forever. So if you're... <laughs> if we are one, then the dream is mine. I keep it alive. And afterwards, after I'm gone, what then? Okay. Okay. Well, we can't let the universe end, so let's do this. I'm ready. Dizzy, I... I'm... I have to go back now. Wake up. For real. Face the world. Face the... There are things that... I need to fix things. I can't be asleep any longer. Okay. Can I come? No, Crow. You can't. So you're leaving me here? You'll be fine. Thanks for... For everything. I don't think I'll be coming back. But you'll be fine. I promise. Well, that's great. Left to my own devices. In the border mountains. By an inscrutable woman with special powers. Again. If I wasn't so furious, I'd be... Really, really depressed. 
You know, I'm so used to being the sidekick, I don't think I can do anything else. But whose sidekick will I... No. No, 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 no. Not happening, big guy. I'm flying back south to find that Kian fellow. I'll be his sidekick. He seems like the sort of guy who appreciates birds. Do you believe I should have told her all of it? All that I have seen? Perhaps I should have. Perhaps I was wrong not to. But... There's only here. Only now. Nothing more. I am blind. I think I will sit down. Rest. Sleep. Dream of my daughters. Long gone. And hope. The future will still be there for them all, when I fade to dust.